record. Sounds good. It is preparing live stream on Facebook. The meeting is now streaming live on Facebook, it says to me. Oh, there we go. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Facebook crowd. Hello, everybody. And welcome to Smart With Your Money Live. I am Chase Peckham. I am the Director of Community Outreach and Education at the San Diego Financial Literacy Center, the education arm of Debt Wave Credit Counseling. As always, I am joined by my cohort, Felipe Aravalo, who is our Coordinator of Education and Community Outreach here at the SDFLC. And we're getting there, Felipe. We've had a lot of sunshine here in San Diego the it last couple of days, warm. which if you're familiar with San Diego and Southern California beach communities in general, May and June can be very gloomy. Uh, and, and so we May gray and June gloom. As, and as we head into June, though, where kids are starting to get out of school, summertime is around the corner and summer's going to look a lot different than it did last year at this time. And we can actually go do stuff, it looks like. So let's talk about some of those things that we can do on a budget. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be a little bit more of your traditional summer. Uh, first of all, for those of you who were trying to join through the uh, Eventbrite link, we apologize. We had some technical difficulties there. So if you weren't able to get in, uh, I hope you're watching this recording afterwards. Uh, apologize for that. We have a meeting with Zoom. We'll ask them what happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so summer on a budget and 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 summer 2021 will be a little bit more like summer 19 and 18 and 17 and everyone before um, a little every year coming. but 2021 exactly first thing especially if you have little ones uh go to a park there's community parks all over the country uh you may have one very nearby that you could walk to uh you get short quick little drive, uh, go to a park, let the kids run around, get some sunlight. Maybe you go for a jog. Maybe you play some basketball with some friends or something there free. It's healthy. Uh, weather should be nice. Hopefully if it's really hot, make sure you drink lots of water, but there it is. It's often yeah, overlooked. The park is fun, uh, especially if you have littler ones. Yeah. Uh, the parks can be great. I spent so much time at the park when my kids were on the littler end, like in this picture, uh, they can be a lot of fun and it's good just to get them out of the house, right? And go out right. and play as long as the heat isn't too bad. And a lot of these places have like water fixtures too, especially if they're in hot zones. Uh, a lot of these parks come with misters and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and if you have a four-legged furry friend, find a dog park, let them go stretch their legs out, yeah. throw a ball and let them go chase it. And, uh, and, and you know, have a, an opportunity to do that. While you're at the park or elsewhere, you could even do this in your own backyard, plan a picnic. Make it so that, you know, gather up uh, your family and instead of going out to eat at a, at a restaurant, pack things up in a, in a box, pack things up in a cooler, head out to the park, go out to your backyard, you know, go somewhere and enjoy a picnic. It could be very cost effective. And especially if you have little ones, it's it's kind of fun. They remember it. I know we've tried it uh, during the course of 2020 when everything is closed. Let's just go lay a blanket down or find somewhere with a park bench and and uh, have a picnic. The kids love it. And it's just really them eating sandwiches that they would have complained about at home. It's funny you say that, Felipe, because the, the, you know, I think about picnics now and I go, wow, I don't know about that. But I do have such vivid memories of picnics when I was a child right. uh, and loving them, uh, you know, whether whatever sandwich it was, because I'm sure I was pretty picky at that time. I had to make sure that I I got a different sandwich than, than everybody else. But I have a Sharpie near the near the aluminum foil because I have to put people's names on it because everyone's <laughs> very picky with their sandwiches. <laughs> but it is so much cheaper than going out, you know, and grabbing the kids food somewhere. Yeah, I mean, that, that could be 25, 30 bucks. I mean, and you eat it and it's gone. I mean, this is kind of an event. It's fresh air. It's just kind of it's more of an event and fun. Yeah. My seven-year-old has this thing where he thinks he can do a picnic anywhere. Sometimes we'll be driving and there's a grassy area in between both sides of the freeway. And he says, you know, that'd be a nice place for a picnic. And you know, now, now that Katie's really. got a pool in her backyard, we can go have a picnic back there. 
Exactly. <laughs> Just planting the that, seed. But... Oh, exactly. look at that. Speaking of a pool, go for a swim. You like what I did there with the with the acronym? Uh, you know, have it where if you have access to a pool, whether you have one, your friend Katie has one, or you have a community pool down the street, you know, go in there, jump in and, and, and relax. If you have kids, get them in there, get them some swimming lessons or teach them how to swim and then let them use up some of their energies and, you know, just relax. Uh, this the dog pool is, is such a great exercise without knowing it, it's an exercise, right? It the is. They're running around, they're jumping in. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, and even if really you get is. in there and you tread water for a few minutes, you know, playing around with the kids in, in the deeper end, you, you do it for a while and you come out and you're like, oh, wow, those are some muscles that haven't worked out in a while. Absolutely. Yeah. And for all these, just make sure you drink lots of water and don't forget your sunscreen. Uh, <laughs> I think that just goes with just, summer. It's a summer thing, right? It's a summer thing. Visit the beach if you're if you're nearby, the, if you're near the coast or another body of water, whether it be a beach, a lake, a river. I know I have family a in pond. Chicago. They don't have an ocean, but they have what they call a beach. This is the side of the lake. Uh, you know, whatever it is that, that you... Um, have nearby if you have something nearby where you can go jump in water sports i know chase mentioned is not necessarily an inexpensive if you to get boats and things like that and then i mentioned you know what was the saying you said chase about the, boats? the saying goes the the best boat is somebody else's <laughs> so if your friends have the boat and you're just driving <laughs> to the yeah. location see i'm here we go I, i'm gonna i'm gonna roll boats pools just borrow them and go uh, but yeah, you, honestly, if you're nearby a beach or something like that, the kids, especially if you have kids, they play in the sand for hours and find shells and, you know, build sand castles and all that. If you don't have kids, it's not a bad romantic setting to go out for an early morning stroll and you break up the monotony of everyday life and, and it doesn't cost you anything. And have a picnic on a sunset. There right? we go. It ties together. It could be romantic. And, and by the way, bodies of water in general, right? Just it, whether it's a river or a lake or any pond even. I mean, it's, it's just for whatever reason, bodies of water bring a calmness to people and relaxing and the kids love it. Um, and it just, it feels good. Yeah. And if you can jump in, it might even cool you down. You can't Absolutely. jump into all of them, but uh, you know. And if you like it, fishing, you can do that too. Exactly. If you have one nearby, take advantage of it uh, the most you can. This one's a little interesting. I know it's going to be controversial because we said fun at the beginning, but find a fun summer job. There are some out there, you know, some jobs are potentially could be fun. Maybe you want to be a tour guide at, a, at the local aquarium because you like the aquarium. Uh, I had a friend uh, in college. She would do the bus tours at the zoo and, and that was like her summer thing. And if you like animals, if you like people, you could have some fun while you're out there doing your, your summer job. You can, you can you make know, a little extra money and make yeah, a little bit extra money out of all of the budget, uh, the ideas on here, this one's going to help your budget the most. Because it's the, the, and positive. you know, what's really crazy about this time too, as we're coming out of the pandemic, there are so many positions and organizations that are looking for people. Uh, yeah. it, it, employees are hard to find right now. So if there is something that you enjoy and that you love doing, why not get paid to do it? Right. Yeah. You can, and if you don't have one, but you want to, maybe you volunteer at one of these places that and some of these like nonprofit places, I look for a job first, but if that's not available, you know, you can always volunteer at the zoo or the aquarium. Or, and of or course, like this that. isn't going to fit for everybody. Not all these, these recommendations are going to work for everybody. Right. Right. It depends on where you are in life. Yeah. If you've got little ones or you've got kids and you've got all these things going on, that's going to be a difficult one. Right. <laughs> and it's going to cost you potentially more in childcare than it would to, exactly. yeah, to right. just not uh -huh. go do the activity. Exactly. Uh, so it's different, different stages, different tips for, for different parts. If you have here in San Diego, we have a thing called cool zones uh, as part of the county, the health and human services, live well, San Diego. Uh, which we are a part of. It's an area, usually a library, but community centers where they run the AC on the hot days and you get to go in, you get to uh, 
enjoy the AC without having to pay for it. If it's a library bonus, you get some free books to read, you know, and it's something where save on electric bill, you know, and there's a sense of community. If you can go with your friends yeah, and, and, you know, they were closed last year, but they're back this year. So hopefully it's, it, it, you know, if you have an option similar to this, where, where you live and and i know they have them throughout the country they're probably not called cool zones everywhere but you know find those free ac options yeah and there's those community centers right they're there i mean there's activities there too there's all kinds of different things you can do uh and, and again you mentioned the sense of community that that is absolutely true so whether you're uh in, in advanced years of age and, and you just want to meet with other people and stay cool that's a great way to go if you have kids people with other kids uh keep them busy learn meet other people maybe you even come up with a routine so it's yeah. not a bad idea I mean, they're there yeah the libraries may have like little summer reading programs where you know for kids things like that and and just check check to see what your local libraries check to see what your local community centers have uh and are offering at this time maybe you didn't get to travel last year and you're looking to expand this year but you're looking to stay budget friendly, try a staycation, something nearby, day trips, camping. And, you know, especially if you already have camping gear, then a campsite is going to cost you a lot less than a hotel stay for the most part. Or you could just go out to the desert and just find a campsite and just plop down and camp where it's allowed. And, you know, you can, if you have things nearby that people pay to travel to, take advantage of it. You know, take advantage of things that are a quick drive away. Um, you know, so try this thing. Plus, you help out your local economy that might be trying to recover from 2020 as well. Absolutely. You know, we're lucky. We could drive up to L.A. It's a couple hours. This morning, one of the freeways was closed, so it would have been like four hours. But, you know, it's not yeah. that far. That road. would take a while. Which brings us to the next one, road trip. What can you drive to, especially if you have a big family, uh, especially if, you have things nearby. Uh, lots of different parts of, of the country have other communities that are just nearby that you could go to down here in Southern California. San Diego has LA. LA has San Diego. We can all drive out to Arizona. We can drive out to Las Vegas. Um, you know, I took my kids a couple weekends ago to the little, a little desert community about an hour and a half, two hours out of San Diego called Borrego Springs. They have desert sculptures, which I thought was not going to be the most fun thing in the world, but my kids loved it. And we packed a cooler full of sandwiches, <laughs> everyone's name on it, and you know, packed the kids. It was less than a tank of gas. And, and it was something that it was weeks ago and they still talk about it. Uh, so it was a very affordable little road trip that we did in on a Sunday. And apparently early. our four-legged furry friends enjoy it too. You can bring your four-legged furry friend. Yeah. Uh, if they enjoy the car ride or, you know, maybe you skip the grocery or skip buying the vegetables and, and some of your things at the grocery store and visit a local farmer's market. Usually yeah, those, local. That's a great way to go. Cause there's, they, they have these in communities all over the place. And if not yeah. just right next to yours, you can combine the little road trip and go see it. But some exactly. of the freshest local produce great bakers you've got people that make trinkets and all kinds of fun stuff that is and you're supporting your local community right you're supporting right. your local farmers or your your local um businesses it's a it's a great way to go and it can be a lot of fun and you yeah. get all kinds of things that you wouldn't normally get it can you definitely can get and and they may have some you just maybe haven't looked there and you drove past them and never realized how much fun they could actually be uh, yeah. You know, and there's there and sometimes there'll be many around you might, you know, yeah. and some might even be famous, you know, in, in communities, you know, maybe not right in your community, but like the town next door, yeah. or, you know, we've got all kinds that are so different in San Diego here. We've got like little Italy that has theirs every Saturday. Then we've got Pacific beach. That's got theirs. I mean, have, all these communities yeah. have all Mesa has kinds. theirs on Friday. So it depends on the day of the week. You might be able to find right. it. Some vendors might overlap, but but some won't. And, and that might be the only place you can get, you know, that particular olives or honey. Or you can get them for really bread. good prices. And you do, yeah. And you're supporting a local small business as well. Local festivals. 
they're back. I know our San Diego County Fair is going to be back this year to some capacity, not full on uh, normal fair crowds and, and, and rides and, and all that, but you know, some of them are coming back and, and if it's uh, available in your community, uh, the little local fairs oftentimes are free to get into and you just yeah. kind of local check concerts, out the local artists, all concerts kinds of things, park. art festivals, music festivals, all these things that are free right. that are put on your neighborhood and you can find on your at your local paper. Uh, and of course, when you mean newspaper of their local website, website right? yeah, yeah, <laughs> blog, their online version. But yeah, I mean, that, that they detail all those kinds of things and it's it's free. You can go out there and have some fun, right? Of course. You ought to be careful because there's probably going to be a lot of vendors there that are selling $9 lemonades, but hey, you know, you can pack up your own stuff and bring it. You definitely can. And this one's hard with kids because they see and they see the shiny things and, yeah, oh yeah. and they see and they want and they're like, oh, you never buy me lemonade. And like, what are you talking about? You had some last night. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> be cautious of your budget. And we're guilty of it too. You might be walking past the booth and say, oh, what is that almond dipping sauce? That's so much healthier than- uh, That's called know. bitchin' sauce, by the yes, way. Yes, it is. It's delicious. phenomenal. Um, and they have a spicy one. Oh, Ooh. so good. <laughs> and it's healthy. <laughs> it's healthy right yeah so you see it at the local farmer's market or you see it at your local festival and then you're like oh well i can't get this sometimes you can get it at costco but you know you know take our word like, for it it's phenomenal it. right so um that is something i get at the local farmer's market visit a free zoo museums the, the zoos and museums in your community may have free days kids free days uh our museums uh You've been to San Diego, or you've looked into visiting San Diego, you've probably heard of Balboa Park, which is where all their museums are. And, and every Tuesday, they offer a different set of free museums. They kind of rotate them as they go. They're opening back up. Maybe you, have a, uh, you take a Tuesday off, you take the kids and you go to the free museum, go to the cart museum, the yeah. science museum, the aerospace museum. Whatever one happens to be, check your calendar. Maybe there's free museums in, in your area as well. For sure. And the zoos are always a great place the for zoos kids are always fun. great. I love the zoo. Um, catch up with friends. We missed them. We uh, missed this we, last year. We missed our friends. And you know, it's good to catch up with them. Uh, do a potluck. Do a happy hour at your house. You know, have something set up in the backyard, you can still kind of social distance if you need to. Uh, maybe your whole, your bubble's vaccinated, the other bubble's vaccinated, and now you guys can have a big multi-bubble party. And yeah. and we all meet at Katie's in the pool and we put the happy hour and the, and the potlucks together with go. the pool time. Exactly, you can combine many of these. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, catch up with your friends. I know there are some friends that, you know, for, we I didn't get to see for a long time. And, and it's good to just, Go sit in the backyard, sit down and just chat and just kind of catch up, have the kids kick a ball around or something. Absolutely. Um, I know my buddy set up a little mini uh, wiffle ball pitching game so he could hit some wiffle balls in his backyard, uh, which was fun. None of us are any good at it, but you know, have it be it's time to catch up with, with some of your friends. And it could not have been a it's not a Felipe presentation a without it's this. It's really not a presentation of mine if I don't say go on a hike. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's great. I have like three t-shirts that say go hiking or something along the lines. <laughs> so uh, definitely something where if you have trails available, I, I'm pretty sure you have some kind of trails available. Some of you are going to have nicer ones than others. Uh, you know, get some water, get some friends, go on a hike, put on that sunscreen, the sunscreen, explore the great outdoors. It's good exercise. Um, I like it. I like disconnecting from the city, disconnecting from those noises and just kind of walking and hearing your foot crunch on the, in our case, very dry dirt, maybe some dry brush. Uh, but I've gone hiking in other parts of the country, looking at you, Oregon, or uh, Washington, those kinds of areas, very green, lots of trees. Uh, Appalachian Trail. Appalachian Trail, I've done a few, uh, a, a trip or two in that area. Awesome, green, 
different hiking than, than Southern California, but whatever kind of hiking you have. Also, if you go to like Arizona, they have different hiking too, but it's just a little too hot for me. Uh, you know, it's a good little exercise. It's a good thing to do. Uh, any questions, any other ideas that anyone has? I want to go hike at the Lake of the Ozark someday. Oh, that looks cool with the reflection. All that. Yeah, it looks pretty yeah. awesome. Not many times I want to go to Missouri. No offense to anybody that you know, it's outside of St. Louis to see the Cardinals, but I, I am very <laughs> interested in checking that out. Yeah. So um, if you have any questions from Facebook, any other ideas, again, apologize for any possible technical difficulties you, you may have had. Yeah. Um, you know, so, someone mentioned, yes, absolutely. If you don't like to be outside, you can always learn a new language or read a book which you can pick up at the library. It's free, you, you know, you don't have to go buy books. You could just get them for free at the library. They actually have an app. Your library might have it also where you can digitally uh, check out books. Wow. So, so you can check out your book, read it on your phone, your tablet, whatever it is, and it's free. Might be a waiting list if you're trying to get a really popular newer release. Uh, but, you know, definitely go ahead and um, check that out. If you have it, you don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy even the, the Kindle version. Um, or there's free apps to learn a language. I know my seven-year-old is stuck on Duolingo and, you know, thankfully he's trying to learn some Spanish. Uh, <laughs> he's working on it. He's got, he's got the basics. Uh, and, and yeah, remember also movies, uh, libraries do have movies and music as well. Uh, again, popular new releases might take a little longer, uh, but but they do have them and, and they have so many movies unless you're a real big movie buff you've probably missed a few of them you can go back check out or check out some classics that you liked you don't want to have to go buy them you can't find them at Redbox if you pay for one of these streaming services already um, uh, Netflix Hulu Disney Plus uh, all the other ones Amazon Prime all those other ones that you know maybe you subscribe to multiple ones and you don't take full advantage of them this could be it. You, yeah. I know 2020, everyone is stuck inside. Maybe you're tired of being stuck inside, but you want to be real budget friendly. You're already paying for the subscription. Have a movie night, you know, especially if yeah. kids pop some popcorn, buy some candies that they may not normally get that you would pay for, you know, five times more at the movie theater, make some nachos Absolutely. or whatever it is that you like from the movies and make it like a movie night. Uh, yep. and, and that could be very, uh, budget from me as well man you i'm all excited for summer now <laughs> as always um we have our podcast unity learning we have some uh summer summer uh ideas on a budget on there as well but anything personal finances uh feel free to check it out you can check it out on our website spotify like or it anywhere follow you us your favorite all the podcast. above right Thank you to people who are liking it. And I think we have a five-star ranking on Apple iPad, uh, which is great. Um, I said on op, Apple, uh, Apple podcast. All right. Apple and, podcast, not I, Apple iPad. I know. But, we have, but it is an iPad. Apple iPad. But yeah, <laughs> Apple podcast. Podcast. Uh, next two weeks from now, uh, we'll be back June 9th at same time, same channel for the cost of pet ownership. Thought I was done with that, Felipe. And uh, <laughs> as, as, Don, as Cor yeah, Michael Corleone says, they keep pulling me back in. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who are young, I apologize for that reference and you don't have a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, well, thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, we hope you, you got some ideas to try out. Let us know how it goes. Shoot us a tweet or a Insta tag us on Instagram on your summer adventures. And uh, we'd love to see what you guys come up with. Happy summertime. And we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks.